customer relationship management so what is crm see crm is a kind of a software okay we can use a software for it where we try to find we try to engage and maintain a relationship with the customer okay in such a way that uh, we we are in close contact with with him through the technology and we try to sell more of our products through that uh, software to him okay so we can see it look at this crm has the business purpose of intelligently finding marketing selling to servicing customers crm is broadly used term that covers concepts used by companies to manage their relationship with the customers so it is a crm is usually a software which interfaces between the company and the customer technologies that support this business purpose include the capture storage analysis of customer vendor partner and internal process information you might have used any banking uh, website so you log in and you enter there so if you enter there they give you a lot of information in terms of how much balance you have what are the other products they have uh, what are the what is your bank balance uh, what are the transactions you have done okay they give you a lot of information they also try to engage with you in terms of uh, what is the new offers okay what is the new credit card offer uh, what else you can buy with them so they are trying to engage with you in such a manner that over a period of time you might end up with buying some kind of a other product from them so functions that support this business purpose include sales marketing customer service training professional development performance management human resource development and compensation so in order for crm to work there is also a need for all this functions in the company to work properly so crm is nothing but a software which tries to uh, engage with the customer in terms of offers or uh, loyalty programs uh, or customized uh, mailing so that there is a good engagement between the company and the customer so why should we need crm see it costs six times more to sell to a new customer than to sell to an existing one okay so it's very costly to sell something to a new customer because we have to put a lot of advertisement we have to then only we'll get a few customers it's better better to retain a customer than to get a new customer and that to a dissatisfied customer will tell to to a minimum average of 8 to 10 people so don't dissatisfy a customer by increasing the customer retention by 5% profits can increase by 85% so people who if customers are retained properly we can increase the profit more the probability of selling to a new customer is 15% only but the probability of selling to a new to existing customer is 50% so they are they are already trusting the company they might buy it 70% of complaining customers will remain loyal if their problem are solved so the company should focus on solving the problems of customers and making them happy so earlier we had this kind of a store where this seller knows everything about the buyer he knows who is the customer is what are the products that he buys what is his family how many members are there in his family and uh, what is his uh, average income he knows a lot about him because he might have around 100 customers at maximum so he has an idea about what the who is the customer is so he can sell anything everything in a personalized manner not only personalized he or he is also human to human it personalizes the transaction but in today's world where we have this all this grand shops and huge malls it's very difficult for the employee to have personal contact with each and every customer so that's why we are having this kind of a software solutions so if you guys really like the video put a like for us and share it with your friends who might find it useful so if you guys have any queries or questions post it in the comment section we'll be like happy to answer them so that even if the employee doesn't know anything the software will tell this is how we have to deal with this customer so we shall have an example of the tesco story for a crm purpose so tesco is a large uh, supermarket they found in 1924 their largest food retailer in uk they have all formats of shops they are in 13 countries the world's leading internet grocery retailer See, Tesco introduced something called as a uh, club card in 1995. What they do is, 
every time you buy for something for 1 pound you will get 0 0.01 pound of uh, benefit okay so why are they giving this card this card once a once a company issues this card okay this card captures information like the name of the person his uh, mail id his phone number his address his location whether he's uh, his gender okay every time he, these are like static information these are like always stored information every time the this customer swipes this card and buys a product that purchase gets uh, added or recorded in his database so he he buys something for around some uh, 100 dollar 100 pounds and he swipes his card he will get 1 pound as a gift but the company's aim is not to give that discount the company's aim is to collect the data in terms of every time he buys and swipes so what is the company going to do with all that data so these are the information that is being like collected from the card so with this data okay with this data we know that at what time he is buying where he is buying what he is buying what is the worth of his purchase we know a lot but what is the usefulness of this see for example every time you swipe the company will find out who you are it tries to segment you actively it tries to tell that she is a busy young lady how does it know because you bought certain items with that it tries to classify you she looks after her health because you might have bought some healthy goods and loves fresh produce because you are buying only like uh, uh, recently manufactured products she drives to the supermarket on a sun saturday morning how does it know because the time of purchase she reads hello magazine you might have bought it she has a cat because you have bought some cat food she doesn't pay particular attention to prices because all her items might be like high priced items she does look out for promotions if there's any promotion she is also looking for that so tesco knows 12 million people or 1.2 crore people in the UK as well as I know Miss Jones they know that she what she wants and they know how valuable she is so she Tesco knows what she buys okay everything it knows it also knows what is her entire annual worth okay how much she is worth okay so what happens with all this data with this all this data the company keeps on mailing them see this is in 1995 okay now things could have changed drastically okay so this company has uh, mailed the customers uh, they have offered uh, 7 million variations of product offers and coupons so they are customizing, customizing their coupon based upon the uh, lifestyle shopping habits and behavior of the people it has increased the revenue by four times it is a valuable tool for, tool for suppliers and it also helps in uh, providing targeting and coupon sharing so you can understand how crm works crm is all about collecting the data about the cu customer storing it if any time the customer again interacts with the company we again and again store information but we also benefit him in terms of targeted ads targeted mail targeted coupons we customize things and we give him so that he again and again comes to our shop so this is about the crm and tesco so what's the benefit we know about our customer we can retain our customer we can attract new customer we can get uh, new clients or contracts we can increase our profitability and we decrease our customer management cost so if you guys really like the video put a like for us and share it with your friends who might find it useful so if you guys have any queries or questions post it in the comment section we will be like happy to answer them if you guys have any other ideas for further videos uh, you can put it in the comment section we will be like uh, creating a new video on that topic also so thank you guys we will meet in the next video